Today, we're going to determine the hemoglobin level of your blood using the Telquist method. To do this, you first need to gather your supplies. So in your kit, take out an alcohol towelette, a lancet. It could look like this, or it may look like this. You'll need a piece of Talquist paper and the hemoglobin scale. And then go ahead and get out a cotton ball and a band-aid to tend to your wound. Since you are both clinician and patient today, and I know you're wearing gloves, go ahead and rip off the finger on your non-dominant hand of either your third or your fourth phalanx. This is the finger you're going to use to do a puncture to get a drop of blood. Once you have your hand ready, you're gonna go ahead and take the alcohol towelette. You're going to clean the area that you're going to use the lancet on to get your drop of blood. It's best to do it from the side of the finger. You don't wanna do it from the very top, your finger pads. So you do it from the side, you're gonna wipe, and then you're gonna allow it to air dry. Once it's air dry, then you take a lancet if you're using one of these, you wanna take the green cap and just gently twist until the green cap comes out. Place that aside. If you're using the purple lancets, you just remove the cap and the lancet's ready to go. Both type of lancets are pressure sensitive. All you have to do with either one is to press it up against your finger and push. The lancet will discharge. Once you have a decent sized drop of blood, you just take your finger and just touch it to the Telquist paper. Might be a little sticky. Go ahead and tend to your wound while it's drying. As soon as the blood has dried and lost its glossy appearance, you're going to compare it to the hemoglobin scale. You do this by looking at the colors. You hold your talquist paper away, but underneath the hemoglobin scale, we don't want to touch blood to it, and you match the color and record the corresponding concentration of hemoglobin. Once you have done this, your talquist paper is gonna be discarded into the biohazard can. Make sure to dispose of your biohazard waste material in the proper container. Soft things go in the small biohazard can. And remember, things that are sharp and pokey are gonna be discarded in the sharps container.